So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you wanna expand sound, video and game controllers. And then you wanna find your speakers or it might say high definition audio device for you. You wanna right click on it and I click on update driver and I click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure they have the best drivers for device installed. And now you wanna go back and I click on browse my computer for drivers and I click on every pick from a list. And now you wanna select this one that comes up and I click on next and I click on yes. It might ask you to restart your computer. Don't do it yet till you complete the next steps in the video. So if you get this message saying that your hardware settings changed, you must restart your computer, click on no. And now for the second step, you wanna head over to search and type in troubleshoot settings, click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna expand other troubleshooters. And then you wanna find the audio troubleshooter and I click on run. Click on this, wait for this to load. And then once this loads up, you wanna click on yes. And then you wanna follow through with all the steps. And now for the third step, you wanna head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Now once you run this, you want to type in msdt.exe space forward slash id space audio playback diagnostic. And click on enter. And now this will come up. You want to click on next. And you want to run this as well. Wait for this to load. And now you want to choose the device that you want to troubleshoot. Click on next. And you want to follow all the steps that come up. Now once you complete all the steps in the video, you just want to restart your computer and then it probably should be fixed.